Hey, what's up everybody? Rob here from Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm adding a new brush to my Procreate inking brush set. Uh, it's free on Gumroad. If you want it for free, just remember to type zero during checkout and follow for additional brush updates. You'll get those for free as well. Uh, it is a donational thing, so you can chip in a buck or two or whatever you want to do, but that's totally up to you. Uh, but these brushes are hopefully helpful for everybody. I've had a lot of good reviews on them and uh, tons of people have, have gotten them. I got to look, it's into the thousands, it's crazy, um, which is awesome. You know, I, I didn't expect this, uh, these brushes to do as well as they have, but it's always a nice, uh, you know, it's nice when they do. Um, so this particular brush gives you a nicer little cut and angle to the start. And I thought this would be helpful for people that are a little bit more used to traditional means and methods of inking because uh, I think it feels a little more traditional. Now, obviously, nothing's as great as, you know, your microns and your, your crow quills and stuff like that. You just you get really used to that stuff, and that's it's, it's hard to beat that. It's hard to bridge that gap. But uh, we can keep trying anyways. And so with this particular brush, the, the major difference is when you start, it gives you this nice little triangular, almost trapezoidal kind of start to the brush tip, right? Well, you know, you see like lots of styles where people get really good at doing this and creating some unique little effects as they ink, okay? Uh, so hopefully this will be, uh, you know, a, a good brush for, again, people that are a little bit more accustomed to what I'm talking about there and, and generating those. Uh, what I kind of consider it is almost like they go more for patterns. It's not just as simple as cross-hatching. I mean, it is cross-hatching, but... They, they generate a lot of cool patterns in the work uh, as they ink. So I think this brush will kind of be good for that uh, effect, some of those effects. And keep in mind, you are going to have to rotate the canvas. So this brush will react differently based upon the orientation of the screen uh, to the way that you're pulling the brush. So, uh, But obviously with Procreate, it's pretty easy to just pinch the screen and turn it, but you will have to do that. In fact, a lot of the brushes I create work that way. I haven't really found a way to make them function uh, the same based upon the way that you're pulling it against the screen, mainly because I either generate a, um, a unique effect with each brush and or the brush tip is different. So it's not as easy as saying, well, just make them all react the same way. If it has a different brush tip, then it's going to react very differently uh, from the angle that you pull it, which I'm pretty sure that's how calligraphy tips are, right? So, yeah, so this is a new one that I'm adding to the set. I'll make sure this is in here today. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, be sure to let me know what you think about it. You know, also, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to include this little, this little shaded mannequin. Uh, I just drew him for practice, but uh, you can utilize them and practice your inking style over top and all that jazz. But let me know what you think of the brushes themselves, uh, you know, and individually as well. So if there's a certain brush that you have found that works really great for your method of inking, let me know about that because more food for thought, the better when I'm doing this stuff because I never really know, you know, it's like I work in a vacuum over here. I'm in a studio in my basement. I'm like, does anybody like any of this stuff? What's going on? And I, and I don't need just the likes. I don't mean that. I mean, like, just good feedback, you know, like I, I just need to know what's working, what's not what you want to see more of, what you wish I never would have created. Like, Rob, if you could go back in time and just not create that brush, that'd be awesome. And I'll, I will definitely try to do that for you. But, um, yeah, so I like this one. I think I'll be using this more. I don't really like what I did right here, but, hey, can't all be great. Uh, but I like the feel of it. Now, keep in mind, the other brushes, in case you're not used to the, the brushes I've created, the other ones are a little bit more pattern oriented there's uh they're meant to help you with cross hatching if you're not you know great with cross hatching and generating uh lines like this they're meant to help you do that so for instance based upon the way that you pull you'll either get the front or back of the brush okay and you, and you got to be creative with this this isn't like gonna just be great for everybody unfortunately but uh, but you can utilize it in certain aspects and i find that with these ones you you got to be strategic because if you use them everywhere, it it really kills the the art. And I know a lot of people look at this stuff and go, oh, this is like cheating, you know, why would you do that? But I don't mean for it to be the end all to what you do. In fact, what I think makes more sense here is that you utilize 
for one, you got to utilize a couple of them just to even cross hatch really to make it look a little more natural. Uh, but also, you should be uh, playing around with these in a way where you know maybe they help you get a certain effect and then you re render over top freehand. So, you know, for, and you know, you're gonna have to like use layers as well, like place certain areas, erase. Um, let me show you. Where's my other ink brush? Where did you go? It's like having a messy art table. I'll just go back to this one, the new one. And then, you know, do some negative line drawing in there as well. You know, stuff like that. So it's it's not that you're going to use these brushes entirely on their own. Because uh, it can get too repetitive and, and again, kind of kill the look of the artwork. Uh, but there's certain things where, you know, maybe you don't want to draw every aspect of it. Like one I like using is this Kirby Crackle. So he's got like power emanating off his hand, right? I don't want to sit here and draw this one. I could just get at least the bulk of it in with a custom brush like this. You know, kind of get the the effect started. And it's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish with this. So for instance, I'll or maybe I would I don't know, but usually I end up drawing over top of it a little bit. But I'm gonna you know use uh, some negative drawing as well. Kind of make it look more interesting. And then I might even come back or I generally will come back with a regular brush and then draw some other little effects. You know, so it's just a way to kind of speed things up, especially if it's something that is repetitive. I mean, you don't want to sit there and have to do every little aspect of that when you can, we can when you can cheat. All right, I said it, that's, that's it. Sometimes you gotta cheat, folks. Anyways, these brushes are not cheating. Just utilize every tool at your disposal and make the best artwork imaginable. So let me know what you think of these brushes. I'll add the new brush in. I hope you enjoy it. I appreciate the support of the uh, the brush pack and the channel and all the stuff that you guys do to follow the work that I create. Uh, very appreciative. So as always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and bye for now.